Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Yeah, I got the camera in a different place, so now he's <laughs> looking into a different location. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, parked here at the Iowa 80 truck stop in uh, Walcott, Iowa. <clears throat> the world's biggest truck stop. Also home to Cat Scale. And by the way, if, if you ever wondered, Cat Scale does stand for something. Certified Automated Truck Scale. That's what Cat stands for. Uh, and this is the home of the Cat Scale. So uh, I had to drive, I drove 771 miles today. To make it here, I've got to try to make my window tomorrow before 2 p.m. to deliver in Toledo, Ohio with a load of sinks that I picked up just before Christmas, and this was the load that got me through the house. And uh, now we're going to do some work tonight. All right, got to do a little work tonight here. I've got to replace this switch. I, I bought this at the uh, Freightliner in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, this is my wiper washer and, uh, well, yeah, wiper, wiper, on, off, high, low, and washer switch and it's a very complicated switch and the thing and, and Freightliner is real proud of this thing 96 bucks with tax is what this thing cost um, and it goes into my dash and I'm going to show you how uh, to do that fairly easy to get out there's little tabs you see at the top here and the bottom you got to just get a flathead screwdriver in there to kind of wedge it out uh, then pull it out but not too far you don't want to pull the plug out when I replaced one of these the first time I pulled the ground wire out so then it didn't work at all when I put the new one in uh, these uh, are not very not designed very well they don't last very long I've had this truck um, bought it in 2016 July of 2016 and uh, this will be my fourth one including the original one that came with the truck each one's only lasted about a year um, and what they do is you see that goes up for high down for low push in for on off and same with the washer fluid part. Down and that does washer fluid, or no, if you push it in, it does the washer fluid. You go down, it's intermittent, and you push up to make it go intermittent faster, down to go intermittent slower. So each, each switch has three different positions and it's not designed very well and they wear out. So like I say, this will be number four. The original one that came with the truck and this will be the third one I've bought but I gotta replace it because the, the, the one up here won't turn off unless I just push the crap out of it. <laughs> All right, here's a new little gadget my kids got me for Christmas. This is, uh, it looks like a mess right now, but this is a clip thing, so you can clip that onto something. This is a light, and then this one holds your phone so you can make vlogs or, you know, like my YouTube channel videos. And uh, this plugs into USB to light up the light. And it's even got a little remote control that you can sync to your phone with Bluetooth so that you don't have to reach up to the phone to turn on and off the video. Kind of snazzy. So I'm going to try to figure out how to hang this up in the truck and make the video. Now if you look down here on my dirty dash, <laughs> it's, I need to take the wipes and clean that up a little bit, but I'll wait until I've done the job tonight. Right down here, see there's the wiper washer switch in its location in the dash back up and you kind of see where everything else is okay that's what I've got to replace right there I wanted to show you if you have your lights on see it does light up a little bit see it turns green right there along well, with a few of the other lights on the dash here see it's so dirty it's time to clean that but there you go all right there's that switch before all right the first thing I do is I take the screwdriver down here and the switch has like I showed earlier this little which you can see on this one the tab so if you take a flathead screwdriver and wedge it in there, then you can kind of pry that top end out a little bit, which is what I did there. Then I take my small vice grips and I'm going to stick that on the top end because as soon as you try to push the bottom end out, what's going to happen? The top one's going to close again on you. So we're going to take that here and clip it into place and try to hold that from sliding back in. I'm going to make it a little tighter. Alright. Hopefully that'll stay as I pry the bottom end out. Alright. So now we try to get that tab loosened under there and see if we can pull the switch forward from the bottom now. 
it's kind of coming up there it goes and then my thing fell down that's all right you can see we now have it out all right pull it gently and slowly there's the plug in the back and here's the keys you don't want to pull that plug too far because that's what I the mistake I made the first time and then I had to uh, pay mechanics to fix it for me so what I'm going to do is pull it out just enough and again put the vice grips on there get the right setting on it a little bit wider And that'll also pull, there's a tab, you can see that on the back, for that plug to come out, and that's going to open that up as well, all right? So see, that's opened up that tab, and now that plug's not going to fall back into the dash, and I can simply unplug it. So there's the old switch. Now we take the new switch, and see here's the plug part of it. Want to make sure we get it going on here right. And we're going to stick that one back into place. The vice grip is holding everything in. That's not clipped down yet until I release the vice grip. All right, want to make sure that locks on there. So it looks like it has. And before I shove it all the way in, I'm going to make sure that it works. All right, yep, there go my wipers. That's high, there's low. Push it in, turns it off. Washer, push it in and hold it. There goes my washer fluid. And once that does its cycle, then I can do intermittent. And that seems to be working properly. And I can turn it back off. So now, it's real easy. Because now that we've got it done, and that is in place, and its little locker is locking tab is locked it onto the switch itself. Now, the tabs on the top and the bottom will automatically click into the dash when I just shove it back into place. Just give it a nice little push, click, click, and now that's changed out. See, that's something else you can do on your own, drivers. Why pay a shop 150 bucks? Because they're going to charge you an hour to do that. And what did that take? <laughs> Two, three minutes. And there's my new wiper switch. And when I turn it on, see, the, it glows up. Yes, it's just that simple. So as you can see, that was a fairly simple repair. All I needed was my handy flathead screwdriver and my little needle nose vice grips. And that's it. And a shop's going to charge you anywhere from uh, a half hour to an hour labor to do that for you. <laughs> and you saw how quick and easy that was. So now I've got a decent switch. It's just that, that switch, Freightliner's real proud of that switch, baby. $91. I've paid anywhere from like $91 uh, at Truck Center Companies in Omaha is where I got this one today. And I've paid up to $115 for it. So it just kind of varies across the country. But Freightliner's real proud of that switch which is weird because it's not made very well and doesn't tend to last more than a year. And to make this video, see I was using my new contraption. I had it just stuck up there under my CB. And this one gooseneck has the light on it. And this one has the phone holder. So that's how I was able to do that and have my hands free while I showed you that repair. So this is a great gift that my kids got me. It's gonna get lots of use on the Clutch Trucker channel. And I gotta show you one more silly thing. What we do for stocking stuffers is, is now that everyone's old enough and it's not Santa anymore, everyone goes out and just spends a few bucks buying cheap, stupid crap. Little toys, uh, little bits of candy. And this is <laughs> another thing my, uh, that we found in my stocking. It is the, what is it called? The Squeezy Poo Pup. Squeezy Poo Pup. See, it's a little puppy, little doggy. And you squeeze his middle and he poops <laughs> it's just stupid but that's the kind of thing we put in our stockings just for fun yep just had to get that fixed it's been kind of broken for a few months now but uh, now that I'm in a winter where you're constantly running your wipers off and on and all that I couldn't take it anymore I had to spend the 96 bucks with tax 
for that thing and get it replaced. Right, Rusty? Yes. Plenty more videos to come on the way. I uh, got a couple of unboxings of some Christmas presents I got. Uh, we're still going to do the Ultimate Purple Seat Cushion now, like 10 months later review. Uh, lots of stuff coming up on the Clutch Trucker channel, so stay posted for that. Please subscribe. Please like and comment if you would like to. Uh, of course, uh, check out our Patreon and Coffee uh, if you would like to help support the channel. Also, check out Clutch Trucker at Twitter, Clutch Trucker at Instagram, where I tend to do short little daily updates uh, and show just like quick shots of where I'm at and stuff like that. Uh, and as always, uh, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. <laughs>